What is up guys, it's Tom here and welcome to a brand new series on my channel. I'm so excited to bring you episode 1 of the best young players of FIFA 17 career mode. And in this series you will find a lot of hidden gems that you guys can buy on FIFA 17 career mode. I want to get you guys as prepared and also myself as prepared for FIFA 17 career mode as much as possible. So in this series we will showcase two nations in each episode and the, uh, the best young players from those two nations with the highest potentials will be put into one team. EA have been updating the squads throughout the year and I've downloaded the latest squads from June the 23rd 2016 so that means that these player potentials will be actually very very close and almost accurate to the FIFA 17 player potentials which of course we don't know that yet because the full game isn't out yet but um, I think uh, this, these potentials will be very close to the FIFA 17 player potentials and in this series you will see from each nation which players are worth buying and if you start a road to glory career mode then you can find a lot of players who are very low rated in this series we will find a lot of players 60, 65, 70 rated whose potential are 85 or 86 or even more. In one episode I will put the best young players of those two nations into one team, we will simulate 5 or 6 uh, seasons and at the end we will see how much those players grow in their potential. But also after each season I will show you you know, the best uh, growth of the best uh, you know, players uh, in the team and at the end of the episode we will actually play one game with that team and I will put only the best players who have reached their highest potential into that team and you can see those players in action. I'm so so excited for this new series so make sure to support the series by leaving a like and let me know in the comments below what nations do you want to see next. So I thought let's download the latest squad update which is from June the 23rd 2016 so basically these ratings are very close to the ratings or the actual ratings of players on FIFA 17. Of course there might be some fluctuation but not a lot. And I'm sure that in this series we will find a lot of hidden gems, a lot of players that we didn't even know about. For example this guy Edward, he has 84 potential in the latest squad update because at the end of the the episode you will find out all these players and how much they grew and what I will do is you know I will simulate each season and we have two Albania players in the starting lineup and I think I will change the starting lineup maybe every six months just to give all the players enough playing time to grow their potential so Rashika who has uh, I think 82 potential and also the Napoli right back Hishai who is also from Albania so this is how season one finished in this career mode. So we finished with Lorian, we finished the second. So in the Coupe Nazionale, we got knocked out by Paris Saint-Germain in the round of 16. In the League Cup, we won actually the League Cup. This team came second, Lorian came second, Paris Saint-Germain won the league once again. But we won the French Cup, which is brilliant. So now we have two trophies, we lost the League Cup final to Marseille, which is quite unlucky. So this is how the group stage of our Champions League group finished, we didn't qualify to the next round. So this is the end of season 3 and we finished the 4th this time, Lorient had a pretty disappointing campaign, but we were just 5 points off. Leon, it was actually a very tight title race. In the Champions League this time we made a really really good run far into the competition. Lorian got knocked out against Bayern Munich in the semi-finals. So at the end of season 4 we have finally done it. FC Lorian have actually won the French League just one point ahead of Paris Saint-Germain. This is a magnificent achievement. We also won the... I think this is a, the French Super Cup as well. We also won the, the French Cup once again. This is like four years in a row. Marseille won the French League Cup on penalties. So quite unlucky with that. This is just a preseason tournament. So we actually quite a lot. We won actually quite a lot of trophies. In the end, we didn't qualify for the Champions League. I was mistaken because the only the top three teams qualify for the Champions League. Bayern Munich won it. 
So we ended up uh, getting into the Europa League and we actually got to the semi-finals of the Europa League but we just couldn't get to the final. And at the end of season 5 again we finished second, Paris Saint-Germain finished first, uh, this was the most common theme. But we have already won the league once so that's good and some players did really well, we won the French Super Cup but this time we didn't win uh, the French Cup or the French League Cup. Paris Saint-Germain won both trophies, so actually they won the treble. And believe it or not, Tottenham actually won the Champions League. <laughs> we got knocked out by Manchester City in the round of 16 of the Champions League in a pretty bad way, losing 5-0 on aggregate. So actually Arsenal won the Europa League, Tottenham won the Champions League. That, that would be scenes if that happened in real life. So guys, this is almost the end of Season 6 and it actually happened that we are one point away from Paris Saint-Germain before the last game of the season which is against Olympique Lyon. I'm going to play that last game of the season because I want to showcase how good these players have become. And I selected this team, so we have Anthony Martial, Plea and Fakir, of course a front line full of French players and Martial's stats look like incredible. Plea or play, not sure how to pronounce his name. He has 90 finishing now in, in season 6. 85 acceleration, 85 sprint speed, so brilliant player. Fakir also lighting fast, great finishing. And then we have Sanson who grew into an 84 rated player. Imbula who is 83 and Pogba who is a 90 rated player. And then we have Hernandez. I thought I would try him out and also Boscagli because you know you probably tried out Varane and Laporte and the other players. We still have a chance of winning the title. All we need is Paris Saint-Germain to drop points away from home against Bordeaux. So here is our team. I'm really, really pumped for this. Oh man, this experiment has been brilliant. And, and yeah, this is basically a full French team now because none of the Albania players have developed enough. Okay, so it looks like Paul Pogba has the best free kick stats. Let's see whether I can bury a long shot from here. I'm not entirely sure. But let's try one. Pogba! Oh no! I hit the post after the goalkeeper made a spectacular save. That was almost the perfect free kick. Okay. Oh, surely this is it. Come on, Fakir. Come on, finish it, son. Yes! Fakir makes it one nil. And remember that we still have a chance to win the title. That's a brilliant, a brilliant counter-attack. We stole the ball. Kurzawa actually stole the ball. And after that, we were in. Great stuff. Great finish by Fakir. one nil. Oh, go on, Martial. What a steal. Go on, son. Surely! No, why? Ah, oh, he intercepted it. No way. Oh, what a save, Areola, you beast! That was a stunning world-class save by our goalkeeper from Villarreal, who is French, of course. Oh, Rafael, no, 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 no. Another save by Areola, he is doing well. Okay. Martial, curve on, why not? Oh, that's a good save! Ah, oh, please, just couldn't put it in. Go on, go on! Oh, they hit the post! I mean, I hit the post! Oh my goodness, this is such an eventful game, man! We have some great options on the bench, so let's bring on Mandy, who is also 80, free rated. And uh, you know what, let's actually bring on Untap and uh, Lam Lamar or Toivan. Let's bring on Toivan and Untap in the attack so we hopefully can score the second goal and seal this game. Oh! Oh! Shamshon! Oh! I mean Sanson! What a finish! Get in there, son! Boom! Yes! This was beautiful and I'm, I'm having so much fun. I worked so hard to get to season 6 in this career mode and all that weight was worth it because this team plays amazingly well. We have overpowered world class players in every position now with these gr 
great potential young players and it's just fantastic it feels amazing yes come on oh come on oh my god i messed it up no why did i overcomplicate it great victory and this team felt amazing guys uh, make sure to try out some of these players on fifa 17 career mode because it's just it was just such a joy to play with this team world class in every position basically apart from maybe the the right fullback fakir and sanson with the goals and i will show you all the squad reports after you know we go into the menus but this team is just fantastic so this is how the league table finished after season six we ran paris saint germain really close but they are just overpowered you know in this uh, league uh french league but we so we won one title in the six uh, seasons that i simulated which you know is not the worst but not the best return uh, but for a small club like Lorient, it's it's brilliant monaco won the the french cup and uh, saint etienne won the league cups so the champions league was won by bayern munich they beat uh, real madrid in the final and we finished third in our champions league group so we fell down to the europa league where we went to the quarterfinals we got knocked out by sevilla on away goals which was pretty cruel so before we go in and show you the squad report actually the board sold the two players which i couldn't prevent Hishai, who started out as a 74 rated right back from Albania, he went up to become 80 rated, but the board sold him to Liverpool. And also Ayati was a sold as well. And to be honest, he started out as a 68 rated player and he went to a 74 rated player. His potential is only 76. So, yeah, these were two players from Albania. But now, actually, let's take a look at the squad report and let's see how the players have developed. So, Areola. He went from 80 rated, I think, to 82 rated. And I'm actually pretty disappointed in his growth, even though he was our starting goalkeeper. Masua Kudo, he started out, I think, as a, as a 74 rated player and he went into an 82 rated player. His full potential is 84. He's going to be a really, really good purchase on FIFA 17 career mode. If you want a cheap fullback who is pacey, I suggest you pick up. Uh, Masuaku Boskagli he was actually one of the biggest uh, growing players his, his uh, rating is 69 so he started out as a 69 rated player his potential is 83 and he almost reached that he reached 82 rating wise and as you can see he's, he's an amazing uh, young player he plays for Nice Lucas Hernandez is another uh, player who really really impressed me he started out as a 74 rated player and he's 85 rated he actually fulfilled his full potential that's his full potential kurzawa also 80 rated as at the start his potential is 88 he went up to an 86 rated player so that's also brilliant and uh, sanson who scored that absolute belter so Sanson starts out as a 77 rated player, his potential is 83, so he actually exceeded his potential and he's 84 rated in, at the end of season 6, which is absolutely brilliant. Imbula fulfilled his potential of 83, he started out as a 78 rated player, which is brilliant. And Paul Pogba, no question of course that he is the most amazing player. And actually, he starts out as an 86 rated player, so his full potential is 91, he almost reached that, he reached 90 rating. Fakir, also a very good player, started as a 79 rated player, and his full potential is 85, he reached 82. So, that's a mixed bag, but he is a very good goal scorer and he scored in that one game that we played. Anthony Martial starts out as a 78 rated player, his full potential is 86 and he reached 84 at the end of season 6, so that's also very good. And one of the players that really really impressed me is uh, Plea, who is, uh, or Plea, not sure how to, how to really pronounce his name. He's, uh, he starts out as a 75 rated player. But he went up to 82 rated, which is his full potential as he has 90 finishing. Eduard, 
Guys, he starts out at a 66 rated young striker, 17 year old striker at Paris Saint Germain. At the end of C eight, at the end of the season six, he's 79 rated, which is brilliant. His full potential is 84. So if uh, I simulated two more seasons, I think he would be an 84 rated player. So if you want to plan on doing a long Road to Glory carrier mode, I suggest pick up this guy on FIFA 17 carrier mode because he, he will be absolutely brilliant. Mtap is another player who is quite well known, he's played for Ren, 79 rated um, at the start. He, his potential is 84, he reached 82. Uh, Mendy is the next one, he starts out as a 77 rated player, his full potential is 84. Free, so he even exceeded his potential here, which is quite brilliant. Central defensive midfielder. The only letdown is that he's a little bit short. Amavi starts out as a 75 rated player. His potential is 83. He didn't reach that. He only reached 78. So I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, Lemar. Let's see what Lemar's uh, starting rating was. He starts out as a 74 rated player. His full potential is 85, he didn't reach that, he was 81 rated at the start, of, at the end of season 6. So Jean starts out as a 70 rated player at the beginning, his full potential is 82, he didn't reach that, he only reached 76, so again a, a pretty disappointing growth. So Toyvan starts out as a 76 rated player, his full potential is 82, and he reached that. So Tolisso starts out as a 76 rated player, his full potential is 84 and he only reached the 81 rating, I'm pretty disappointed in his growth. Just like Queensley Coman who starts out as a 78 rated player, his full potential is 86 but for some reason he didn't really grow even though he played. Laporte starts out as an 83 rated player, his full potential is 87, he almost reached that, he reached 86. But that's to be honest pretty awesome yeah rabio starts out as a 77 rated player his full potential is 84 he got nowhere near that he he got it to 79 as haller starts out starts out as a 76 rated striker and his full potential is 84 and he reached that so well done to him and uh, i wish i had you know more games to try him out um kilian mbappe lottin starts out as a 60 Five rated left winger he plays for Monaco his full potential is 85 so he grows by 20 rating wise he didn't fulfill that but he got to 78 Lafont another you know bargain player to be honest he, he starts out as a 70 rated player his full potential is 86 he only reached 75 because he wasn't really the first choice, but I suggest buying him and loaning him out. He started out as a 71 rated player, his full potential is 83 and he reached only 78 rating wise, but that's pretty also still uh, pretty, pretty impressive. Unas, who starts out as a 69 rated player playing for F FC Bordeaux, his full potential is 84 and he almost reached that, he reached 80 which is fantastic growth, he grew by 11 rating wise and Manaj is, a, I think he is from Albania and you know he doesn't have the greatest of potential so Rashika again a player who didn't have the greatest of potentials I think his potential was like, like 78 or 77 something like that and he started out as a 73 rated player so Cozziello starts out as a 72 rated center midfielder his full potential is 84 he only became a 78 rated player but I guess he needs a little bit more time to to get higher up Blin one of the highest growth again he starts out as a 68 rated player he grew into a 79 rated player so a growth of 11 rating wise Valentin Lavin, so he started starts out as a 69 rated player and I in included him by mistake because I was looking at Foothead at the beginning of you know making the squad but his potential got downgraded from like 83 to 77. So Thierry Ambrose, a 65 rated striker at the start, his full potential is 81, he didn't reach that, he went to become a 75 rated player but look at how fast he is, that's a really really impressive and Umtiti a very very 
talented center back. He starts out as an 80 rated center back. His full potential is 85. He almost reached that. Kurt Zuma, 79 at the start. 88 is his full potential. He reached 84. So that's also pretty decent. Mbaye Niang, who is a 75 at the start. His full potential is 84. He almost reached that. And again, a devastating, really, really pacey player. France have so many awesome, uh, talented players. Katze is another player from Albania. I thought I would include him, uh, but his potential is like 79 or something like that. He didn't reach that really. And Rafael Voran, of course, one of the big biggest talents. His full potential is 89. He starts at 82 rated. He almost reached his full potential, is 88. Veratut starts out as a 76 rated player. His full potential is 82. He only reached 78 rated, so pretty disappointing. Kondogbia, on the other hand, wow. He starts out as a 76 rated player. His potential is only 81. He's the only player who exceeded his potential by two ratings. So hats off to Kondogbia. So we won five domestic cups throughout the six seasons. We won one league title. We couldn't win the Champions League or the Europa League, but that's still a pretty good showing from the best young players from France and Albania. To win six trophies in six years is pretty, pretty damn impressive. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure to smash the like button and thanks for watching. See you later, guys. Have a lovely day. Good way. I'm not a man, 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 I'